Hey guys, I'm Ismail Sheikh again. Today we are going to learn about SQL joins. This is the first part. So we will try to know what is a join first and then we will jump to the types of joins. So first we will check the introduction part and then we will try to know what are the types of joins. Then we will know uh, why this SQL joins are used for and after that we will check few advantages and disadvantages of joins later we will jump to the uh, main part the first type of join which is inner join and we will check few examples of that and later we will check the practical part as well so that we can get the hands-on experience and at last i'm going to give you a question exercise so that you can practice that by your own so please stay tuned so what is a join join is nothing but combining something so in sql join means to combine two or more tables so let's say if there are two or more tables and there is some kind of relationship between those tables you can always combine those tables using sql joins now there are various tables uh, various methods which are used to combine these tables these are types of joins which are useful to combine the tables the first one is inner join the second one is left join third one is right fourth one is full outer join and the last one is cross join so in this video we will be checking about the inner join first and then uh, in later videos we will cover uh, other types of joins so why SQL join is used? So let's say if you want to access more than one table through select statement, you can do that uh, by using join. Let's say if there are multiple tables and you want to find uh, values from one table, uh, some values from one table and some values from second table. In that case, you can always use uh, types of joins and combine those values. So it will combine uh, both of these uh, values and it will give you a result in one particular table. So that's how you can use a join to sort out the values or filter the values in a common table. So uh, how it works, it uh, finds a common field which is in uh, both of your tables. Let's say if there's any customer table and if there's any order table, uh, there will be some order ID and customer ID which can be related uh, to find the results and that's how it will combine those values and it will give you a common result. So first let's check the Venn diagram of inner join. You can see table 1 and table 2 combined together and the common part which is, in highlighted, uh, which is highlighted in green color, this will be our common results set of table 1 and table 2 which will be reflected in our result. So this is just a basic understanding uh, diagram. Now let's move to the syntax part. I've used select statement here in order to retrieve values. You have to use select statement. Then you have to specify the column names that you want in your results set. And then uh, I have to specify from which tables uh, I'm going to extract these values from. The first table is considered as the left table and the second table is considered as the right one. After uh, table one, I'm uh, specifying the type of join here, the inner join. And at the end, you have to specify the common column, which is in the first and the second table. In this case, let's say ID is the common column. So I'm specifying that. So this is just a basic syntax part of inner join. Let's move to the next part. Now let's check few advantages and disadvantages of join. The first and most important advantage is that it executes faster. So how does it do that? So whenever you're, you're combining uh, the tables in the back end, the query uh, gets optimized and uh, the performance gets increased and the retrieval time also decreased. So whenever there are few tables, like there are four, four or five tables, it won't be noticeable to you. But when, are, when there are uh, more than 1,000 or uh, 10,000 tables, uh, you will notice that the execution time is a little faster. 
there are a few disadvantages uh, of joins as well so whenever there you are combining more than 10 to 15 tables the uh, query length becomes more complex and it becomes a little confusing to read so these are a few disadvantages and advantages of joins now let's move on to the practical part and understand how uh, these queries work. Let's take an example first and then we will move to the practical part. Now let's check these two tables. The first table is order table. The second table is customer table. Uh, order table contains order ID, customer ID and order date. And the second table contains customer ID, customer name, uh, contact name and country. Now the common thing between two tables these two tables is the customer ID that's the column name which is common between these two tables you can see now I want to combine these two tables so the reference uh, column that I'm going to use to combine these two columns will be customer ID so I'm going to use customer ID to combine these uh, two tables so let's check how we can do that this is the query that you have to use. Now I'm going to select orders from order ID, customers from customer name, orders from order date, sorry, uh, order date from orders. And I'm going to specify the first column name, which will be the left column, that's order. Then I'm going to write inner join, that will be the type of join that I'm going to perform on the first and the second column. Then I'm going to specify the right table that's customer and the common column, which I'm going to use to combine these two table will be customer ID that, that I told you earlier. Now you have to specify the uh, table name orders.customer ID and customer dot customer id so that it can uh, the interpreter may know uh, which table you're talking about so when you perform this query you will get this result which will be the combination of first and the second table so as i mentioned earlier i uh, wanted to know the order id customer name and the order date it will give you result of order ID customer name and order date so that's how you can use uh, uh, joins uh, the first one is in a join now let's move to the practical part and check this practically how this actually works so this is our SQL server management studio I have already created one database named project shopping center. This was the sample database that I created. And then I created two tables here, customer and product. So I'm going to combine these tables and using, I'm going to use inner join. So first let's check what are the content in these two tables. I'm going to select star from customer and product and we'll execute it. You can see there is ID, customer name and final price. That's the customer table. And the second table is ID, contains ID, product name and product price. So the common field between these two tables is ID. That's the common table, sorry, common uh, column. So I'm going to use this as our common uh, column and I'll combine customer and product table. Now let's check the pro problem part that we are going to see in this video. Uh, the problem that we are going to check is, uh, I want to know the customer name, ID, and the product that customer has bought uh, with the final price. So in this case, we are going to use inner join and let's check uh, the query part now now I'm I have used select uh, command here as we discussed earlier as we are retrieving values then we have to specify all the column names that you want in your final output 
I'm using customer as the first table and then dot ID. I have I want the ID and customer dot customer name. I want the customer name as well. Then customer dot final price that he's going to pay. This is from the first table. And then I want to know the product that customer bought. That's product dot product name. So this is this will be from the second table. Now I have to combine these two tables. So I'm going to use from the first table is customer. So I'm specifying customer. This will be our left table. And then I'm going to specify the type of join that I'm using. That's inner join. And the right table will be our product. And then I'm going to perform this on customer.id. That's the common field between two tables. Customer.id equal to product.id. So this will be the equal equivalence. ID from the first table and ID from the second table. Now, after you execute this query, you will find ID, customer name, final price and product. So it's combining both of those tables and it's giving you a result. So this is how you can use inner join to optimize your uh, result and give you a uh, optimized table. Now I'm going to give you an exercise so that you can practice it and give your answers. So first you have to create two tables, employee and department table. Then you should contain, uh, the employee table should contain employee ID, name, salary, location, date of birth, and team ID. These are the columns that you want in your employee table. And the second table that you have to create is the department table department ID, department name, department head, and it should have number of employees in that department. Then you have to insert minimum 10 values in both of these employee and department tables. And at last you have to perform join on this table. The output that I want uh, is that I want to find employee name, salary, department head, and department ID after you join the employee and department table. The only hint that I can give you is that the team ID can, uh, can be the key part in this exercise. So uh, answer your queries in the comment section. You can always reach out to me on our Facebook page. That's let us learn. The link is in the description. If you like this video, please like the video and share this video video with the, with your friends and uh, subscribe to my channel let's not thank you